subtract my age from the mileage on my speeding heart, credit cards, accelerate, accumulate. Buy this car to drive to work, drive to work to pay for this car. Buy this car to drive to work, drive to work. Welcome to Yellow Brick Road, I am Jordan, and it's nice and bright in here, look at that. Uh, today I'm going to talk about Tulsi Gabbard's involvement with the anti-BDS resolution. I'm just going to read through it, give my opinions. I also want to talk about the bickering that you see behind me. Wait, other way. This one. Right over there. Talk about the bickering I just noticed on Twitter of the progressive movement. <laughs> but anyways, uh... Please consider donating to Devin's Journey to Recovery. The GoFundMe link is down there, right? Down there, description box. Not my dick, the description box. The other D. That is where the link for Devin's Journey to Recovery, the GoFundMe account. Click that link, read the story, then donate, please. It doesn't go to us, it's for charity, so please donate. All right. So today, as I was going through Twitter, because I was bored, I saw this, Humanist Report and Fiorella Isabel. If you don't know her, she's from the Convo Couch, which is associated with Nico House. He's in here, too, somewhere. Where is he at? He's right there. So these guys are bickering on Twitter about the anti-BDS bill. You can see the title to the Humanist Report's video he did. What the fuck? Kana, Gabbard, and Presley voted for an anti-BDS resolution. I'm guessing the Convo Couch and Nico House are saying, oh, you guys are exaggerating and you're muddying the waters, you're making Tulsi look bad when it's not the worst thing in the world. So, what we're going to do is kill all the bullshit and go right to the fucking resolution. Hopefully you can see that. Ah, what'd I do? There we go. Let's see if you guys can actually read the... Let me move this over. Bam. I'll just hide me. Screw it. Alright. So, let's go through the first line here. Yeah. Really suck at this. I should edit, but I'm not. All right, so it says, Whereas the democratic Jewish state of Israel is a key ally and strategic partner of the United States. This is all them agreeing on something. And apparently that's one of them. Don't ask me why, but that's what it is. Whereas, since Israel's founding in 1948, Congress has repeatedly, repeatedly expressed our nation's unwavering commitment to the security of Israel as a Jewish and democratic state. That sounds fucking stupid. That sounds really stupid. I mean, if you're going to say that, say we recognize or we, we commit to securing the democratic state of Israel... Not the, you can leave the Jewish part out. Unless you're going to do that for Saudi Arabia as well. Which they won't. I say, you know, whatever. Whereas it is a hallmark of American democracy for citizens to petition the United States government in favor of or against United States foreign policy. Okay. So they're agreeing to say, okay, Americans can protest, though. So we're not going to step on your rights. You're allowed to protest us supporting Israel. That's a good thing. Whereas the United States Constitution protects the right of United States citizens to articulate political views, including with respect to the policies of the United States or foreign governments. So it's not exactly, not 100%, uh, disregarding the BDS movement. I mean, it is. But it's saying, even though we disagree with that, you guys are still allowed to 
protest. I read on. Whereas American policy has long sought to bring peace to the Middle East and recognize that both the Israeli and Palestinian people should be able to live in safe and sovereign states, free from fear and violence, with mutual recognition. Ah. So they're in support of, I'd say, a two-state solution, recognizing Palestine as its own sovereign state, which has not happened yet, somehow. Somehow Israel's allowed to keep pushing borders. Now, here's the problem so far. I mean, I still have more to read, but I doubt they get to this. It is, where's your condemnation of what Israel's been doing as far as... I mean, just the other day, they were bulldozing houses. So, where's that condemnation at? I don't know. Like, we want to recognize Palestine as a sovereign state. Well, if you want to do that, you have to call out the part where they're bulldozing houses and c- continuously expanding their border. Not to mention all the human right human rights violations. Those should be, uh, I don't know, discussed out loud. Not this, you know, sort of pandering to where you're like, yay, Palestinians, but, you know, we're not going to mention the crimes of the other guys. I hear them mention plenty of crimes of, like, Hamas and shit like that. But uh, Israel just seems to skate by. All right, next line. Whereas support for peace between the Israelis and the Palestinians has long-standing bipartisan support in Congress. That's probably not true. But, hey, the people signing it may, may want that to be the case. Whereas it is the long-standing policy of the United States that a peaceful resolution of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict should come through direct negotiations between the government of Israel and the Palestinian Authority with the support of countries in the region and around the world. Yeah. That sounds cool. I like that. Might be a lot more brash. This is like... This is keeping it kindergarten level because, (laughs) believe it or not, Americans, your government thinks you're children. You can only handle so much. All right, next line. Whereas cooperation between Israel and the United States is of great importance. Why do you need to say that? I don't know. Especially in the context of rising anti-Semitism, authoritarianism, and security problems in Europe, the Middle East, and North Africa. Uh... Okay. Yeah, that could be the case, but I don't see why this is particularly a great importance. Say, like, oh, I want to work together to have to get peaceful solutions going. I don't need to say the UK is great. Well, <laughs> I mean, doesn't that, isn't that like putting another country on a pedestal? I don't know. I'd hope you want to do that with it, like every, every country. Yeah. Stop the intervention shit, you know. Anyways, whereas the global boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement (BDS) movement targeting Israel is a campaign that does not favor a two-state solution, and that seeks to exclude the state of Israel and the Israeli people from the economic, cultural, and academic. Life of the rest of the world. That's probably bullshit. Now, I don't join groups. I don't join the BDS movement or the pro-Israel movement or whatever. But, I mean, I, I try to go over their heads. I don't try to. I just am over their heads. I think a lot of normal people are as well. And, it's like, oh, let's call it one state. You guys live together peacefully. We'll call it Happy Land. So no one fucking cries about it. And I think it's tied back to religion, which is why they have to keep it Israel. Same thing with Palestinians. I'm not saying they're, it's some religious state or anything, but I'm 
Just fucking change the name. Israelistine. Palreal. Call it some shit like that. Who cares? As long as there aren't people killing each other. Call it whatever the fuck you want. And I would say make it a one state solution. But that you're calling for the destruction of Israel. Yeah, I'm calling for it. I'm calling for the destruction of a fucking name. And human made borders. I understand we can't just jump right to that. You gotta, you know, need some things to simmer down first. It might take decades for that to happen, but that should be the end goal, right? Anyways. Whereas the global boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement is one of several recent political movements that undermines the possibility for a negotiated solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict by demanding concessions of one party alone and encouraging the Palestinians to reject negotiations in favor of international pressure. Maybe. I don't know enough about them. But I thought it was just a... I didn't look at it as a straight up movement as much as people say oh we're not going to buy your products until you you know end the apartheid state straight up i don't you know i don't vouch for uh groups or anything like that so if this is like if they're just, if they're talking about a group that has a collectivist you know these collectivist ideas with it and I, I want nothing to do with that. But as an individual, why not boycott? Why not pull your money out? Sanction, I think, is more of a government thing. But if an individual could do that, why not do that? Do it as individuals. I'm full on support of that. If you believe there's a wrong happening and you want to find a peaceful way of, you know peaceful way of ending the bullshit all right whereas the founder of the global bds movement omar okay i guess it is a, some sort of group omar baguti has denied the right of the jewish people in their homeland saying we oppose a jewish state in any part of palestine no palestinian rational palestinian not a sellout palestinian will ever accept a jewish state in palestine uh, depends on what he means by that. If he means a state based on religion only, I mean, I wouldn't mind that. Just go somewhere, just don't have an impact on this shit over here. But I say there are, there are already Jewish people living in Palestine before Israel was created by people, by the way. I'm not giving God credit for that shit. So yeah, uh, sounds like a guy who's you know hurt feelings and he can't be an adult about it. <laughs> he needs it to be all Palestine. He needs to all be Palestine. Like you're on the same team as the guys that want it all to be Israel. Like you guys can, we'll we'll give you guys each an island. Like, you call this one Israel. You call this one Palestine. You get no weapons. Go away from the rest of society until you're ready to play like adults. Until you're ready to grow up, then you can come back. Other than that. If I could stay the fuck away. No weapons for you. Because these are the crazy, dumb, dumb people that do crazy, dumb, dumb shit. Anyways. Whereas the global BDS movement targets not only the Israeli government, but also Israeli academic, cultural, and civil society institutions, as well as individual Israeli citizens of all political persuasions, religions, and ethnicities, and in some cases even Jews of another nationa of other nationalities who support Israel. <sighs> I don't know what to say there. I mean Okay, but I've also seen I've also seen uh, these heavily super support Israel types beat quite crazy. <laughs> Look at Ben Shapiro, right? 
I'm sure he's an avid pro-Israel Zionist type dude. So, I wouldn't mind uh, boycotting his bullshit. And once again, it's, you need more context than this than just saying this overall because there can be a guy who supports the idea of BDS, but they're not in some fucking group. They just think that's a solution to crimes they believe are going on. Right? Ben Shapiro's American, but fuck you tell me if he's not trying to fucking sway uh, U.S. policy to favor Israel. Fuck out of here. What did he say in that BBC interview? Uh, people who voted for Obama aren't real Jews because <laughs> because of the Iran deal. It's like, come on, son. Like, fuck off. All right, next one. Whereas the global BDS movement does not recognize and many of its supporters explicitly deny the right of the Jewish people to national self-determination. Uh, once again, I can see that happening. I can definitely see that happening with people. I can see healthy people believing that. Well, you know what I mean. Conditioned but somewhat healthy minded people whose you know, whose conscience is in the it's it's in the topic itself. Like they don't believe the state should exist in the first place because some Bible or some book or Torah or whatever said, You guys get this land and also how it came about and also the expanding borders. So there needs to be more context in this rather than just these line by line things. Not saying I'm an expert, just talking shit. Whereas university based global BDS efforts violate the core goals of the university and global cultural development, which thrive on free and open exchange and debate, and in some cases leads to the intimidation and harassment of Jewish students and others who support Israel. Now, like those last two lines I read, you can hear me, like you can hear my, uh, my experience of listening to certain people. You can hear it starting to flow into the conversation and now it's really going to flow into the conversation as in the, uh, Al Jazeera documentary, the lobby, right? That's the name of it. The lobby, the Israeli lobby, whatever. Point is, the Al Jazeera documentary about uh, the Israeli lobby in America and all the stories going on with college students and all that. I heard the people who were like pro Palestine, they're immediately labeled the BDS movement. And you know, they seem like sweet kids just trying to do the right thing and, you know, by their own hearts. And they get smeared and all this bullshit and they have tactics for doing it like this is the ugly gross part so the words on their own sound like they could be all right but then it's like what are we really talking about here you really look at it and give it context and it's like no because i've seen how they smeared these kids in universities and shit called them anti-semites and the uh astroturfing of uh the israeli lobby whatever they're called Students for Israel or whatever the fuck. So, that's troubling, to say the least. Next line. Whereas the global BDS movement promotes principles of collective guilt, mass punishment, and group isolation, which are destructive of prospects for progress towards peace and a two-state solution. Uh, well... They should feel guilt if they're committing crimes. Uh, I don't agree with it, but I'm sure someone wants to punish them for committing crimes. Now, the group isolation part, I, I'll agree with the resolution here. People should be talking to each other. And the, things like boycotts, they allow dialogue because it's not just shoot at first sight. It's a discussion. So, yeah, we need to be real about this, man. I'm tired of the fucking pandering to Israel. 
I'm not even like I'm not even an Adam Green guy or a, a Ryan Dawson type. I'm not like that at all. But it's so the writing's on the fucking wall, man. Like you need to write out in words. Like we need, we wholeheartedly support the state of Israel existing. It's like, why do you need to say that shit? Anyways, here's the next line. Whereas boycotts and similar tools aimed at promoting racial <laughs> aimed at promoting racial justice and social change have been used effectively in the United States, South Africa, and other parts of the world. And whereas in contrast to protest movements that have sought racial justice and social change, the global boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement targeting Israel is not about promoting coexistence civil rights and political reconciliation, but about questioning and undermining the very legitimacy of the country and its people. Now, therefore, be it. Okay. I don't know why people fucking talk like that, but okay. Uh, and you can't just blanket terms like that. I'm sure not all not all are healthy, but not all are unhealthy either. You can't just blanket term it like that. <laughs> like I said, if you watch, I think it's called The Lobby, the Al Jazeera documentary. Go watch that and tell me about the college kids that are protesting Israel. Tell me if they're some crazy, you know, they want to kill the Jewish people. They want to kick them out of their homes and end their, like, they want to eliminate the Jewish state. Or, or like me. I'll say that. Like I, Jordan, Jordan, want to. <laughs> I almost dry snitched on myself. I, Jordan, want to eliminate the Jewish state. And replace it with happy land. To where they all get together and mix up and whatever. Fucking hip hop artists live in the south. Punk rockers live in the north. In the middle are the conservatives. <laughs> Fuck it. Why do you need a name to exist? And I, once again, it goes back to religious bullshit. But I don't, I mean, the guys who signed this or wrote it up, I don't know if they're fucking Jewish or not. They might not be. Let me see the guy's name. Whatever, I don't think the name could help me anyways. <laughs> I'm just going to read these. So, yeah. Why, why? I don't get it. I don't get it. Just fucking merge them together. Well, not now, but in time. Come with peaceful solutions. Then fucking make it one giant state. Why not? Once again, try not to get stuck in your typical social conditioning. Unlock the barriers and look at it like, what's the best possible thing we could do here? Oh, everybody lived together peacefully. The only reason we call this day is because this is this territory and that's that territory. Its laws are based on whatever natural phenomena are happening there. You can't drive 25 miles an hour here because rocks fall down this mountain and, and land on the road. So you got to drive slower. It's like, oh, okay, geographical law. That makes sense. No hunting deer in the fall because you might, you know, get rid of the species in this area. Got it. That makes sense. <sighs> Vote for Jordan, by the way. All right, uh, says resolve that the House of Representatives, one, opposes the global boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement targeting Israel, including efforts to target United States companies that are engaged in commercial activities that are legal under United States law and all efforts to delegitimize the state of Israel. Bullshit. Number one is bullshit. Number two, urges Israelis and Palestinians to return to direct negotiations as the only way to achieve an an end to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. I agree with that. That's a good one. 
Three, affirms the constitutional right of United States citizens to free speech, including the right to protest or criticize the policies of United States or foreign governments. That should be obvious. That should always just be there. It shouldn't even be in question. I agree with number three. Number four, support the full implementation of the United States-Israeli Strategic Partnership Act of 2014. Blah, 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 blah. And new efforts to enhance government-wide, coordinated United States-Israeli scientific and technological cooperation in civilian areas such as with respect to energy, water, agriculture, alternative fuel technology, civilian space technology, and security, in order to counter the effects of actions to boycott, divest from, or sanction Israel. No. Because if they're, they're committing a crime, you have people boycotting them, and you're saying, well, they're getting boycotted, we need to ramp up our funding to them, but they're using the funding to commit human rights violations. It's like, no, that can't work. Say, as long as Israel and as long as Palestine aren't committing human rights violations, we will support them and help them. You know, with, uh, you know, helping humans, not helping their militaries grow. Helping the human part of it. That's simple, easy. So, number four, fuck you. Number five, and reaffirms its strong support for a negotiated solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict resulting in two states, a democratic Jewish state of Israel and a viable democratic Palestinian state, living side by side in peace, security, and mutual recognition. Yes. I guess. Sure. Sure. I don't get the whole like Jewish state thing. That's weird. Once again, I think it should be broke the world should be broken into you know hip hop heads live in this area, but also, you know, scattered and you know, punk rockers live over here, but they're scattered also and all that shit. And there's this one country where everyone's like, Oh, we all just do whatever. It's a mixture of things. Why not? People are too beholden to the, <laughs> they're too beholden to the image when they look in the mirror. Oh, that's me. That's me. You can't even see me right now, so. I'm... That's me. See, I look, I look in the mirror. That's me. Thus, I follow all the rules that goes with looking like this. It's fucking stupid. Guarantee, there's millions of people around the world that would. Assess what I just read there the same exact fucking way. It's like, why do they need a Jewish state? Why do they need that? Why is there two states? Like, oh, Palestinians were living there? Alright, just make it one giant fucking state. Israelistine. <laughs> Palreal. Fuck it. These things are simple, basic, obvious. All right, uh, back to the shits, though. Let me go back to uh, the bickering part. Hope you can see that. There you go. Move that down. There you go. So these guys are arguing with each other about this. The Tulsi fans and the Bernie fans that like Tulsi. And and it's it's weird, I don't know. It's, I think it's too much fanboying from these guys. Like if like if Bernie signed this, they'd probably have some. They'd be like, oh, I don't like it, but you know, it's Bernie Sanders. Like I expect him to be a good person. And the Tulsi fans will do the same for her. And none of it, none of it's helping. Cause I think you're just opening a lane up for like Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> she seems like that. Well, you guys are bickering with each other. Instead of using your conscience, you're using what flag you're flying. That's garbage, and it will never help anything. All right, that's it for me.
Please subscribe if you feel like, comment, agree, disagree, send me information, uh, donate. Devin's Journey to Recovery GoFundMe link is down there. Right down there. It's not my dick. I swear to God. It's the other D, the description box. Open the description box, click the GoFundMe link, donate. Devin's Journey to Recovery. And with all that said, give this video a thumbs down. Say you want to get in.